Hit the uh, remote uh, and ta hear all the testimony, then we'll open up questions. Thank you so much. Chairman Schickel and members of the Interim Joint Committee, thank you so much for considering my testimony and also for allowing me to testify virtually. I'm Shoshana Weissman. Um, I work on regulatory policy at the R Street Institute, which is a think tank that focuses on free market solutions to uh, niche problems. And licensing reform is broad, but it's also kind of niche as well. Um, and uh, HB 343 was particularly of interest because this would move Kentucky to join about 20 other states with universal licensing recognition. As members of this committee, you know better than most that about one in every four workers need some kind of government approved certification in order to work in their profession. And unfortunately, most licenses are designed with mobility in mind. If this legislation is enacted, um, it would join 20 states that currently allow people to acquire licenses based on licensure and actual work in other states. Those that have enacted this reform have seen substantial benefits. It will encourage people to move to Kentucky and enable current residents to get back to the specialized work they know best. One study found that, quote, the, the migration rate into states with universal recognition increased by about um, 0.77 percentage points or 48.4 percent, which is huge, among individuals with low portability licenses after the policy change. It also found a huge benefit for trailing spouses, for people who have already moved to Kentucky, but when their spouse had a license in that state and were unable to be licensed here. Um, improving licensing recognition for the spouses of our service members is particularly important as military families often spend only a short time in one place and 34% of military spouses work in professions that require licenses. While I know Kentucky has already made reforms here, um, this reform would expand by, um, it would expand the ability of military spouses to work by applying um, for, uh, for basically where they already have work experience, but just no license in other state, uh, in, the, in the other state. Um, so while HB 343 applies uh, to civilians as well and does not require residency, it maintains the, ne the necessary safety protections. Um, uh, Representative Doan's law has quite a few uh, safety protections, making sure that people have the relevant experience, making sure that if someone has negative marks in their state that that's considered and that they might have to wait a little bit before uh, being able to transfer their credentials here. And all of this is a really big boon to the economy and the safety here. Um, and finally, um, HB 343 grants the governor certain emergency powers to expand professional scope of practice and authorize professionals to work in the state during emergencies. This is particularly wise in light of the COVID pandemic in which various medical professionals needed to work in different states and, mo and move there quickly and work there quickly. Um, but in other kinds of emergencies, from floods to tornadoes, the, availab the availability of more licensed plumbers, electricians, contractors, and others would improve this, the state's safety and ability to recover from disaster. So as you consider this legislation, we encourage you to think about the benefits um, it would provide the Commonwealth. Not only would the bill encourage people to move to Kentucky, it would also enable current residents to get back to the work they know best, expand service for consumers, and ease emergency recovery. Thank you so much for considering You're my welcome. testimony. Thank you for your testimony. We normally do not allow remote testimony, but